coach of Marty's first game, Tom McPhee. I spoke with him yesterday, and as usual, I had to keep the phone this far away. He still has a powerful voice, and I asked him about that first game for the 19-year-old. For the record, Tommy had a defense pair of Slava Patisov and Tommy Alvary, and a productive forward line that registered big points that night, Kevin Todd, Claude, Bill Grain, and Randy McKay. But the old coach said, I like the kid. Number one, he was always on time. In fact, he was early. Number two, he was never negative. Number three, he never blamed his defenseman for a goal, and he had it. Tell him congratulations for me. If he'd been born 20 years earlier, I'd have been a much better coach. <laughs> it's my opinion that he learned a lot in the same way that his two brothers did, from helping his father lug photographic equipment to sessions with the Montreal Expos and the Montreal Canadiens. He saw firsthand how professional athletes behave, some good, some bad. And boy, did he ever choose the right way. And so, in that fall of 1993, take a look at the maps. When he arrived at training camp, he competed for a second spot on the team with Chad Erickson, Chuck Hughes, Doug Dabswell, Corey Schwab, Craig Billington. He didn't want to presume that he would make the big team, so he played it safe. He needed a mask that would work either in Albany or in New Jersey, and that's why the horns and the tail and no team emblem. And you think that's humility. What his father would say, isn't that how it's supposed to be? Representative of the NHL and the other 29 teams, Commissioner Gary Beck.